Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video. We are back in Stormfall Saga of Survival. Hope you guys are doing well. Right, so we are back on the um, on the on the noob account, building ourselves up, and got to our one star stone axe, which is um, always a good thing. So right now, um, to be honest, I actually don't know what I want to do today. Um, I thought about going into a you know, obviously just your, your general forest of stone ridges, um, just to sort of collect resources and things like that, have a chat to you guys as well, um, but, I don't know, do I want to see or test my limits, do I want to go into say like the dark woods or um, woodlands, and I wouldn't go cursed forest to be honest with you, um, or the rocky spires, but I, I was sort of thinking about it, I don't know. You know what, let's um, for now just go into the Pine Grove and yeah, let's sort of discuss, um, you know, the happenings of everything at the moment. So, now, I've got on good authority at the moment where I had just been handed some info. Now, look, nothing too exciting or anything like that. You guys may have noticed that an update or a the post on the the Facebook community page indicated that they were going to go through a maintenance um, patch and a lot of people sort of got excited with the you know the fact that there may be finally you know an update upon us so at the moment it's not the case um, it was just like you know your standard run-of-the-mill maintenance update as it were we sort of locked out for a little bit I didn't experience any sort of um, downtime or anything like that I think for me my time I think it happened when I was sort of sleeping so yeah good for me anyway um, but what I wanted to sort of touch on was um, had a quick chat to um, you know it's one of the, the mods in the discord server basically the understanding is that you know the re one of the bigger reasons for lack of thereof updates is that they're trying to improve the game internally a lot of under the hood um, uh, enhancements and upgrades if you will now the reason why that i'm sort of pointing this out is i know a lot of people are sort of you know waiting um for the new for a new update or something or whatever it might be which is fine you know a lot of people you know have the have the right to ask um and they basically you know um don't want to really get bored of a game that they haven't had the ability to enjoy newer content or updates or things like that which i totally get i totally understand you know it is what it is essentially so the reason why i'm sort of speaking about it now is that yes so i've just you know received that information no i do not know when the new update is coming so please don't ask but what i can say is that if they're trying to improve internal things in, within the game, yes, I do get that there are still bugs and things like that that are still um, present within the game at the moment. It is what it is, okay? So, you know, we're not going to, you know, not make that um, any sort of mention because we are um, that, yes, there is, um, you know, a lot of things that can be fixed up in the game and, you know, hopefully... <clears throat> eventually may get updated and fixed you know over the course of time so yes i hope that does happen quite soon um that we do get new updates and things like that but also got to respect the fact that when they're in a process or the de developers i should say are, are in a process to try and improve the game for all of us i think you know that's something to sort of um you know take note and if for, for a good reasoning you know mainly because if they're doing a lot of internal updates and upgrades to enough what what I was told, things like um, the system itself, server, um, the, the engine of the game as well that they're trying to upgrade and implement. So whether that we see these things on the surface, I doubt it. I don't think we're going to see much of, much of any, if not any at all. But if it's all going to be for the greater good, well, I'm all for it. And if they do this, and that might give the developers a lot more capabilities and flexibility to give us better updates. So overall, that's that's what I'm thinking. And my, for you know for that sort of reasoning, I'm hoping that you guys can sort of understand as well. If we you know we do this um, type of you know wait or anything like that, um, yes, I get it. You know we are wanting the update you know sooner rather than later but 
we sort of gonna have to respect that as well to say, okay, well, if we're not gonna get the update now, what can we what can we expect soon? Which is one thing. Even if they do some sort of little, you know, incremental update, um, you know, I know that they, they tease new, you know, armor, possibly weapons as well. You know, depending if that's easy to write that into, you know, into the game. You know, why not? You know, that if we have like a, a big downtime, that we sort of have to be a little bit more on the patient side to wait some, for some of these type of updates. You know, will it be too hard for say, like from a developer point of view. You know, if they're able to um, give us, you know, something small to go on until you know the next update drops, and I think that's probably you know like a, like a fair statement. Good thing, you know, a, a good idea. Um, but I want you guys to sort of let me know in the comment section as well. You know, is, is that something that you guys you know would be happy with? Um, you know, it's you know it all comes down to you guys at the end of the day. Um, just drop all these in here. Think I'm going to be running out of supply fairly soon, which is not good, but that's fine. We're going to head back anyway, and we shall uh, continue on chopping down the rest of those trees. And then what I'll probably end up doing is I'll just upgrade the um, the chests that I have, and might upgrade some other things as well in the meantime. So yeah, anyway. But yeah, so that's the information I was given. Again, like I said, no timeline as to when there would be a would be update, but I'm hoping that you guys, um, you know, remain calm, I guess, and hopefully that's sort of given us a little bit to go on as well, um, which will hopefully eventuate into something. So that's what I'm hoping for. Anyway, plans for the new series that I've done. Um, yeah, so some of you guys did respond in in, uh, in the initial video, so thank you very much for, for uh, doing so. So appreciate that. Um, so um, been told, yep, rating is a good thing. Um, so yep, that we're we're gonna lock that in. We're gonna do that. So the moment that I hit level twenty, and I've got some decent armor equipment behind me, um, yeah, we're gonna definitely try our hand and do some raids and things like that. So hundred percent, that that that's gonna be locked in. What else do you guys want me to do? Um, like I said, the, I, I did suggest um, possibly, you know, do I do, you know, challenges in hard base, in hard zones and things like that to, um, you know, entertain you guys? Will that, will that be something that you guys are interested in? You know, so far I've only got, my best weapon would be the, the one star sling. So do I attempt a dungeon as best as I can with the sling itself? I don't know. Um, I, I barely got any heals to begin with, so what I'm trying to get to right now is I want to get to level tw uh, level 12, uh, create the smokehouse. All the raw meats that I collect um, gives me enough to start making some cooked meat or smoked meat, I think, and at least um, that would give me you know the ability to get some decent heals. That's basically what I'm after at the moment. So uh, right now we are just in the process of just running about collecting resources and trying to build our character up as you do. So, um, you know, much like what you guys would be doing at the start. Um, and this is basically what I normally do. I just sort of clear out a basic zone and um, make sure that I've collected absolutely everything, uh, which I have so far. So um, I don't know whether or not we go into another zone. I think we can probably do that while we're on the go. Um, do we step it up? Uh, yeah okay let's step it up let's see if a level turn is able to go into a, a two skull forest and um, let's see how well we can survive because there's gonna be spiders you got the baby spiders you got the, the normal regular spiders uh, you've got boars I believe the dark or no elder boars I think they're in there as well so that's gonna be that's gonna um, propose a bit of a challenge and I believe there might be wolves I think Think. It's been a while since I've been in here, so we'll see how we go. Uh, but anyway, hope, hopefully you guys are enjoying the new series. Uh, so let me know by hitting the like button, uh, commenting down below, let me know what you think about it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, so you guys don't miss out on any future uploads. Righto, so let's get that one out of the way and... Let's, um, oh, there we go. So we do have an elder boar. Like I said, um, 
see how well I can sort of survive in here. Uh, right. What I might do is I might swap you over to that. And what do I have over here? So just a regular ball. So not too bad. And I might even have to start building up some uh, some armor as well because I'm looks like I will be needing some very soon. So I won't focus too much on these guys here. So the zone is a really good hunting ground as well, especially if you want to um you know get some decent uh, resources, open up a couple of chests. Now the for the new for the newbies, if you guys are um, tuning in, these sort of things here, you're gonna need some um, uh, you know your axes and pickaxes to open up as well. Now I think if you get the iron tools, I think you get more of the items that drop. So pretty much like what you can do with the um, when you're chopping down raw materials like uh, trees or stone nodes here, or even the iron. If you have an iron um, uh, axe or pickaxe, you're going to be able to basically cut down more and um, get more raw materials. So for now, the stone doesn't serve that purpose there. So the ground does become a little bit harder for us um, early in game as we're playing it. But once we get those iron tools, it makes life a little bit easier. I would actually love if there would be a, a third tier um, of, you know, items. So, you know, you've got iron, things like that, you know, why not steel? So, you know, steel axe, steel pickaxe, and again, you know, the, the better of that material would be, um, the better ability that we'll have to, you know, um, harvest more wood, more stone, more iron, clay, whatever it will be. So, yeah, that's what I think. I think that should, that would be a good suggestion to make, to be honest with you. So, um, why not? You know, whether or not that's something that's still, you know, probably not available for us to do just yet due to the fact that, um, you know, we haven't reached that point yet, I guess, to, to warrant something like that. Oh, let's get out of here. So this is going to be the hard one, trying to get these spiders. So, so this is the big spider. So yeah, I can't sneak up on this guy, unfortunately, but I can take him out nice and easy. And he will drop some venom. And what I wanted to take was this and this. Uh, but possibly leaving that and taking that. Reason for that is one of the quests for the factions um, require binding. So right now, early game, you don't, you may not necessarily need a lot of um, uh, binding or anything like that. But at least you can, um, you know, use it for the factions. And what have I got here? This should be like another spider, I think. I think this is the last spider. Yep. So I don't know how well I'll go with this. But I do have some cheese. So let's eat up on that. And you know what? I may as well take some berries while I'm running around. Just in case. And I think this guy here was protecting the main chest. So this is the main chest of the zone anyway. For you guys that don't know, of course. Uh, for a lot of my uh, veteran players, um, yeah, you guys will probably be snoozing right now. But um, yeah, look, I'm not going to neglect my, my main account um, either. So I will be obviously playing as much as I can. Um, but I sort of thought I'd just sort of break it up. Thinking about whether I do, you know, one newbie video, one normal video, I'm not too sure yet, depending on what, you know, what's about and um, is it something that I could really, you know, invest my time into, so I'm not too sure yet, so I haven't really gone that far yet into the, um, into the whole scenario, but uh, we'll see. So, I want to eat all of that up, because that needs to happen, and can I get in closer to the ball? Or maybe the spider. Perfect. All right, well, that worked out. So I'll just take that. And let's open up this chest here. So half a health, 
200 curse points. Um, yeah, the <laughs> not going my way at the moment, unfortunately, but um, hopefully we can see an upside to it, that's all. Let's just take that, grab that. Uh, anyone else around? Is there anyone else for me to run into? Well, the frog is one. Here's the other spider. Thought I was missing one. Let's just... Well, can I take any of this? Nope. Might as well use that. Probably not the, the best thing to do. Anyway. If I was getting close to my uh, the, my next level up, I probably would have done it. But that doesn't matter. So I think I've actually cleared the zone. Yeah, I've cleared the zone. So... There you go. If you guys have got one star slings and if you've got at least, you know, basic armor on you uh, for the meantime, yep, you should be able to get by through the two skull zone. So level 10, level 11, however you want to call it. Um, yeah, shouldn't be an issue for any of you guys. I mean, obviously, if you sort of follow the sneak rule and, you know, try to sneak up on your, um, on your enemies there, then, yeah, I'm sure you guys will do just fine. So basically what I would probably do at this point is just loot up whatever I can and uh, let my guy go into auto mode. And the moment that he sort of um, says, yep, uh, that's enough, then run back home, de-loot everything and basically um, come back and finish it off. That's probably what I would, what I end up doing after the video, I guess. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have um, enjoyed this one. Um, I'm just going to let my guy do his thing. He's just going to, you know, loot. I don't think you guys need to stick around and, um, and watch how one would loot. So, um, yeah, we'll leave it here. But appreciate, appreciate you guys, sorry, stopping by, checking it out, and, um, yeah, spending some time with me on this. Anyway, take it easy and catch you guys next time.